Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'd like to show you how I made some really pretty mirrored side tables. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. For my first project, I used 12 of these Dollar Tree Gold Metallic Ceramic Candle Holders, as well as some of their felt pads. I also used some gold glitter ribbon that I had left over from Christmas, as well as three of these 14-inch round mirrors that I picked up from Michaels. I used a Lazy Susan, my E6000, hot glue gun, and glue sticks. I'll leave the complete list of everything that I used for this project down in the description box. So the first thing I did was use my E6000 to attach three of the candle holders together. Unfortunately, I could not find all 12 of the same style. I found eight of one style and four of the other. So I decided to make it work by dividing all 12 equally into four sets. After I glued together all four sets, I had something that looked like this. While my candle holders were drying, I took some of this glitter ribbon and I cut it into three thinner strips. I then used my E6000 to attach the glitter ribbon along the sides of my mirrors. Once that glue was dry, I was able to use an X-Acto knife to remove the excess ribbon. I was then ready to start assembling my side table. I used a combination of E6000 and hot glue to attach my Lazy Susan to the bottom of my first mirror. To prevent any scratches on my table or floor, I decided to add some felt pads to the other side of the Lazy Susan. Next, I used that same E6000 and hot glue combination to attach two of the taller candle holder pieces on top of my first mirror. I then added the E6000 to the top of those candle holders before placing my second mirror. I added some weight and allowed this to dry for about two hours. I then added my final two candle holders directly on top of the first two and then used the E6000 to add my third and final mirror. Two hours later, I carefully picked up the piece by the mirror on the bottom and placed it on the floor to dry overnight. The following day, I flipped my design over and added some additional E6000 just to ensure that the candle holders stay in place over time. And when I was done, I had something that looked like this. 
because I made this a three-tiered tray, it felt a little wobbly to me. So to ensure that it doesn't tip over, I'll be sure to always add my heavier items to the bottom tier of this side table. Overall, I was very pleased with how this table turned out. It is really pretty, very functional, and the possibilities on how I can use this table are endless. For my second project, I used five of these 13 inch mirrors. I used some Dollar Tree duct tape, some of this installation foam board that I purchased from Home Depot. I used some Gorilla construction adhesive and my hot glue gun and glue sticks. Starting with my insulation foam board, I purchased this from Home Depot for about $9.95. It's eight foot tall, so I have the associates there to cut it in half for me so that I can put it in my car and take it home. I use this versus traditional foam board because this board is extremely heavy duty and much thicker than your traditional foam board at the Dollar Tree. Plus, I'll have lots of foam board remaining for future projects. So the first thing I did was use an X-Acto knife to cut out six pieces of the foam board that I needed to make my cube design. I placed one of the 13 by 13 inch pieces of foam board face down and then I used hot glue to attach the 12 by 13 inch pieces to each side of that foam board. I then used the hot glue to attach the two 12 by 12 inch pieces of foam board to the remaining two sides. I then hot glued my final 13 by 13 inch piece of foam board right on top to complete my cube design. I used duct tape to reinforce my design as well. It was then time to add my mirrors. I removed the black tabs and then I used a combination of the construction adhesive and a small amount of hot glue to add all five of my mirrors. I held my mirrors in place for about 30 seconds before adding a bit more of the hot glue and some tape to ensure that the mirrors stay in place and together until the construction adhesive dries. I did notice that I could see a bit more of the duct tape along the edges than expected. That's when I realized that although the Hobby Lobby website lists these as 13 inch square mirrors, they're actually more like 12.9 inch mirrors. That said, if I were to redo this project, I would definitely decrease my measurements by about a half of an inch. The metallic duct tape almost looks intentional, so I may or may not cover it up with some black acrylic paint or another type of trim, but either way, I was really happy with the results and I think that this side table turned out beautiful. But what do you guys think? Should I leave it as is or should I cover it up with some type of paint or trim? Let me know down in the comments. Here's my cube side table next to my home goods table that I paid about $100 for. I think that it goes very well with this table and I made it for a fraction of the cost. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. 
Also, a few days ago, I started a second channel, Dazzling Designs by Denise, up close and personal. On my second channel, I'll be giving you guys some behind-the-scenes footage, sharing my crafting tricks and tips, as well as answering your most frequently asked questions. I'll leave a link to my second channel below, so please be sure to go over there and subscribe. And remember, I upload new videos every single week, so until next time, guys, bye!